Hey team, welcome back to my channel. I've had a lot of questions about this, so here's how I make my knee pads. I tried choosing generic ones, but I found that they didn't suit me much. The hard guards felt way too stiff and didn't absorb shock as well. And I didn't like how restrictive they felt while I was skating. There weren't a lot of soft guards and for most of them I couldn't adjust with a padding set so I decided to make my own. It's actually more like a how to put together video because it's literally that easy. You only need two materials. So firstly, you're going to need a few old fluffy socks or leg warmers in my case for the padding. For the outside I bought these super cheap cloth knee braces from Daiso for about $2.50 each but you should be able to get them at most dollar stores. Now these should be firm but not too constrictive, they will stretch with wash and wear. For the padding I used some old leg warmers but fluffy socks, foam or blankets can still do the trick. Fold the material into a square or a rectangle. Now I fold mine at least four times so that when I fully compress it, it's still about two centimeters thick. It's gonna compress down more underneath the brace so we don't want it too thin. So there's a couple of ways I like to put these on so they stay in place. So first we slide the brace onto the leg in the position we'd like it to be. Gently roll back the top three quarters so your knee is exposed down to the bony part under the kneecap. Then we're gonna tuck the base of the padding into the knee brace, using one hand to press the padding onto the knee and hold it in place. While standing, use the other hand to slide the rolled down part of the knee brace back up over the padding and adjust it to suit you. Now the other way we can do it, and what I tend to do now because it's a bit lazier, is keep the padding inside the brace. We put both hands through to stop the padding from moving and slide it onto the leg like a sock and then readjust as needed. Ideally, you should feel supported and spongy when you're kneeling on the floor. All of the bony areas should feel cushioned. Now this won't entirely prevent bruises and injury, but it allows some shock absorption and less bony impact. These pads have lasted me close to two years and still look neat and feel really supportive. Shout out to Daiso. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you like this video, please like and comment your thoughts. Feel free to subscribe if you wanted similar content and connect with me on Insta. Catch you next video.